So, it's another day, and uh, I have out in front of me four chopping boards. How many chopping boards will we have at the end of this? Maybe one or two. Will we have a chassis? Fingers crossed. I hope so. God, I hope so. Because, um, yeah, we've, we've built everything else that we need, apart from this thing. Not sorted this out yet, but that's not today. This is today. This is the focus. Let's do this. And I'm going to start by laying it out, seeing just about how big it needs to be, and let's do it. some things seeing how it work uh, I've got the, what will become the drive setup not the internals of this but the track system itself um, I've got the 22 mil motors and the motor mounts yeah we got the 22 mil motors out just to see if they'll fit side by side and they do it's snug but they fit which is awesome um, so yeah there's that then there's the motors themselves, not the motors, the wheels themselves. So I've, I've measured it all out, seen where it all come to. We have this out just to check like how long it would have to be. So the the length is going to be between probably between the two uh, two end bits that we're going to be mounting to. So yeah, that will be something like that. But it's all coming together quite nicely, I think. Um, just gotta, gotta make a few more bits. So we've gotta make, I've gotta draw out another one of these rectangles uh, so that we have the correct uh, side panels. That's what they're called. And then the back panel I need to draw out, which is gonna be longer, it's gonna be the, the length of uh, well, the width even I don't know is it length or is it width anyway it'll be this point here to the same point on the other side um, yeah cool so we have our two chopping boards all designed up um, I've had to rework a load of it several times over as you can see all the different lines and things but what I have realized is that the side panels which is this one here is actually the same width as the chopping board so that is going to play right into my hands I hope if I've measured it all out right let's go chop it up chop up the chopping boards big boys and we have big toys we're handy with a spanner and if it don't work we go berserk and hit it with a hammer unless of course you have a jigsaw unless of course for some unknown reason the last person to use it removed the fuse why I think you get the basic premise of what I'm going for. Um, we'll then have the tube in here, 
and then we'll have the mesh going over the top and uh, all the electronics inside which will be good fun um, cool and now we have it with the tube as well which has been cut down to size so yeah it's all coming up rusty once you start to lay out all the other bits and bobs, it's really taking shape. <laughs> so we didn't quite get rusty up to where we wanted it to be at the end of half turn. That was down to a, a series of different things, including personal stuff going on at home. But basically, we have a chassis not yet screwed together um, that looks, it resembles rusty uh, on, a, on a basic point. Things that still need to happen. Still need to sort out the hat section, which uh, is still not quite how I want it. I've got several ideas brewing in my head, but um, yeah, as yet, nothing has jumped out and set in stone. Um, I have to grind down all of the extra long bolt heads. Need to make the things that are going to go across to the uh, the actual box of the body. Um, so that it, the, the side panels are held on properly, basically, and um, yeah. Other than that, need to do the mesh bit to go over the top. Need to make some holes for the drive stuff. These lovely twenty-two mil motors um, that fit, hopefully, side by side inside there. Need to cut the holes for that, really. Um, but I need something more precise to do it. I'm not quite sure what yet. Probably drill some holes in it and then use a coping saw if I have one um, if not buy one and yeah just need to paint it then and uh, we have a, a full rusty I'm very happy I'm very happy with how it's where I've got to this week with it bear in mind I had nothing before this week started other than parts and now I have um, a good idea of what, what I'm going to do so yeah, thank you for for coming with me on this little journey. Um, obviously we will continue to make videos the more work on Rusty that I do. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the last project box for half term. So thanks all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you have, give them a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I shall see you again with something else in the not too distant future. Bye bye.